Hi guys, Melissa Sletter here, and um, I thought I would do a video of my updated American Girl collection. It's grown very slightly, but it's grown, and I wanted to show you guys all of my American Girl dolls. And, um, I've gotten two more since my last collection video, but I figured I should show you them. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am not at all bragging. Um, I've got most of my American Girl dolls I bought with my own money and I got from secondhand stores or eBay. So I'm not at all bragging. Um, just to let you know, I'm very grateful that I was able to get this many American Girls and hopefully my collection will continue to grow. So, I'm going to show you my American Girl dolls from oldest to newest. Okay? Let's get started. Okay, my first doll is Kristen Amanda Thomas, and she is a truly me. Um, I don't know what number she is, but she was my first doll. I got it from eBay. And Kristen's personality is that she's very sporty, and she has a big mouth that can kind of get her into trouble sometimes and the reason why I named this star Christian Amanda Thomas which by the way she's also known as Christy um, is because I used to read the babysitter club books and um, Christy was actually my favorite character in the book so I wanted to make it so I wanted to have a doll that represented her so yeah this is Christy Thomas and I got her from eBay um, back in oh gosh I think it was April or May, I don't quite remember, but yeah, this is Christy. Next doll is Larissa Ann Connors. She goes by Larissa, and she's also a truly me that I got from eBay. And um, she is, Larissa's personality is, she loves gymnastics, and her favorite color is pink. She's kind of a girly girl. But uh, she loves gymnastics. She's a level four gymnast, which is really good for someone her age. And um, she can be kind of competitive with herself. Like, she makes sure that her gymnastics routines are always perfect. And she's always hard on herself when she doesn't do a routine as well as she wants to. But she's a very good person. She's a very good friend. And I'm glad to have her in my collection. And I got her a month after I got Christy. My next two dolls are Molly McIntyre and Kirsten Lawson. And the reason why I put them together is because I got them at the same exact time. Because they came together. They were like a package deal from eBay. And I got them both for under $100 for both of them. So I knew it was a deal that I just couldn't pass up. Um... Molly's personality is she's like the mother of the whole my whole AG doll family. She's very motherly. She loves to cook. She loves to tap dance. Um, but she doesn't tap dance much anymore because she's too busy taking care of the other girls. Kirsten is like Molly's second hand. She uh, helps out a lot with the cooking and cleaning and Kirsten doesn't do it because she has to she does it because she loves to she also loves to sew and to ride horses and I got these dolls I think around Ju no I don't know exactly when I got them but I know I got them after I got Larissa so probably a month after I got Larissa and yeah that that's Molly and Kirsten is Kit Kittredge, and she's the Be Forever version of Kit. I got her from Once Upon a Child, and I love her very much. I got her, I think, around June or July, and um, I really love Kit. I love her little bob, and um, her hair is so much fun to brush, and it just never seems to get messy, which I hope it keeps that way. Uh, Kirsten loves baseball. And she wants to be on her local softball team. And, um, but she also loves writing. She's a lot like a story character. She loves writing stories for the school newspaper. And she hopes to be a writer someday. And that's it. My next doll is Willa Larkin. And, um, 
she's a she's obviously not a regular American girl. She's a welly wisher, and she's special to me because a person that um, a friend of mine gave got her for me as a surprise for my birthday, and I love Willa, and she's really cute, and I will never give her up. Because she's very special because a really good friend gave her to me, got her for me for my birthday. And I totally wasn't expecting that. So I'm real I was like really happy about her, about getting her. I was really shocked. Um, Willa is um just like her character in American Girls. She loves to s splash around in mud puddles, she loves to climb trees, she loves animals, and she wants to be a vet when she grows up. So I wish her luck on that. And she's actually one of the youngest in the family. She's only seven, while the rest of the girls are between 10 and 13. So, um, so yeah, Willa is really special, and I'm glad to have her in my collection. Stall is um, Kaylee Richards, and she's also a truly me. And um, I got her the same month that I got Willa. I got Kayla from... Once Upon a Child, I started to love shopping at that store, so I got it from Once Upon a Child. And Kayla is really special to me, um, and she, um, likes to sing, and she likes to dance, she likes anything to do with the, create, with the performing arts, and she wants to be an actress someday, so I wish her luck on that. And that's Kayla. My next doll is Asia Who who people sometimes call Whitney because Asia wants to be the next Whitney Houston. She um, loves to sing, and she just, she loves to sing. Like, singing is her life, and she try, she works very hard on her singing. Although her and Kayla could be really competitive with each other when it comes to singing. They're always comparing each other to the other person, and... Um, but hopefully they'll learn to get along and accept each other the way they are and also accept that they're both equally good singers because I know I'm proud of both of them for what they do since I like to sing myself. So I got Asia, I think, in August, and I'm glad to have her in my collection because she's actually retired right now, so we'll just have to... So she's really special to me. My next doll is Heather Lopez. And she's a Pleasant Company doll, which is really special. Because, you know, as you may know, Pleasant doesn't work with American Girl anymore. So she's one of the original American Girl Today dolls. And I got her on eBay. And, um... The reason why I named this doll Heather is because she looks like a girl I went to school with who wasn't very nice. But this Heather is not at all like the Heather I knew when I was in school. She was, this Heather is very friendly. She will loan you anything and doesn't expect anything in return. And she's a very good friend and she doesn't make anyone feel bad about themselves. She's very good. And I'm glad to have her in my collection. This doll I got back in October. Um, the end of October, actually. I got her for Once Upon a Child. Her name is Anna. Anna Archer. And like I said, I got her for Once Upon a Child while I was away with a friend. And Anna is also a Pleasant Company doll. And um, Anna's personality, she's very shy she doesn't like to talk much to anybody, but she does a really good job in my videos when she chooses to be in them. And uh, she always wears her hair in these two braids because um, when I got her, her hair was a little matty, so I just kind of brushed it slightly, moist it, misted it, and um, put it in two braids. And it's been in two braids ever since. I might want to take her to the, I might take her to the doll hospital to get her a new head, but I'm really not so sure. Um, I kind of like on the braids, and I don't really want to part with her, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'm still happy to have Anna in my collection because I bought her from Once Upon a Child. I bought her myself, like I do with most of my dolls, and 
any American Girl doll that I could buy for myself is really special. So, that's Anna. My next doll is Chrissa Maxwell. And for those of you who don't know, she's from she's Girl of the Year 2009. And oh my goodness, I love this doll. I mean, ever since she came out, I wanted her. But at the time she came out, I couldn't afford her. So, for, so when I was able to get an eBay account back in like... 2014 or 2015, I've been trying to look for a crystal doll that I could afford, but I couldn't find any, and I really wanted her. So when I got my rent rebate this year, I found her and I bought her, and she's really important in my collection. She's really special, and I love her so much. And uh, Krista is shy, but once you get to know her, she can talk your head off. She's very friendly, and she would stick up for people, but she has trouble sticking up for herself. So, um, she needs to work on that. But I still love Chris, and I'm so happy she's finally in my collection. My next doll is Emily Bennett, and she's also really special to me, because ever since I got Molly from eBay, I wanted to get Emily, too, since they're best friends. And, um, I finally was able to get Emily, and I love her. Emily, as you know, is from England. She's originally from England, but she um, moved to America when she was in fourth grade. So her accent's pretty much gone. Um, but she and Molly are still really good friends, but she also made friends with the other girls. And um, Emily is shy, and she's kind of very reserved. But she does talk to people. If people like, if you ask her a question, she'll answer it. Or if you tell her to do something, she'll do it. But Emily's not really a very social person. But surprisingly, she does very well in my videos, which is a big surprise because she doesn't talk much to the other girls in real life. But oh well, what can you say? Everyone's different. Yeah, and that's Emily. And I got her from eBay a couple months ago. Okay, this doll, um, I know you've seen it in a few videos, but she's actually one of my newer dolls. This is Stephanie Trezolo, and the reason why I named her that is because she looks she like another girl I went to school with. So I named her after her, and, and the Stephanie I went to school with was fairly nice. She was all right. We weren't really close, but she was still a nice girl. And this Stephanie, the doll Stephanie, is just like her. She loves pink, and her nickname is Princess because she thinks she's a princess. She wants to be, she wants to work at Disney World and be a princess there. And um, she's really into Disney princesses, so she loves her nickname, Princess. That's what people called her in school, and that's what the girls here call her. And yeah, that's Stephanie. Last and final doll right now is Camille. And she is also a Welly Wisher, obviously. And I never thought I would be getting any more Welly Wishers, but this one I decided to get. Um, I decided to start getting the Welly Wishers, mainly because Willow had no one her age to play with, so... I originally planned to get Ashley, but when I went to the store, she was sold out, so I got Camille. But I'm not really disappointed, because Camille is such a beautiful doll. She has beautiful blonde hair, and she loves mermaids, and she wants to be um, a marine vet, which means that she wants to be a vet for, like, an, like for dolphins and, you know, things like that. And Camille is a really nice person, and her and Willie get along so well. And I got her early this month, and that's Camille. Okay, so that was my American Girl collection as of right now. Um, like I said, like I say at the end of every video, um, I plan on getting more, but I'm not at all trying to brag. I'm grateful for every American Girl doll I bought or received. And, um, I'll be making more movies very soon. I just wanted to give you guys an updated version of my collection because I'm pretty sure some of you were wondering, where are those dolls coming from? So I figured I'd make this video 
to um to show you my current collection and I love all my dolls. I'm very grateful for them. And I bought them with my own money, so I'm not bragging. And um, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.